okay? These notes you need to write down in your notebook again. Like we need to make sure we have this written down. These are just examples, but you have to have this to start with. It is the same idea. We're still trying to write it as a cube. So 27 is three cubed. Again, like I've told y'all before, I would use a calculator and go ahead and cube all the numbers. Like one cubed is one, two cubed is eight, three cubed is 27. And like I said, most of y'all, and even me, I would do, cause then you gotta do four times 16 and all that. So I would use a calculator and write this list out. That way you know, you can find those numbers right away. Right here, they had 27, that is three cubed, right? So if I have that list, it helps me. Um, you can do that uh, during class, right? So when we're going through this, notice they got x cubed, 27 is three cubed. So now I have my A and B, right? The way it works is when you're setting this up, you're gonna have a binomial and then a trinomial. Whatever the sign is to start with, because we're doing sum and difference of cubes together. They both have the same formula. If I'm adding two cubes or I'm subtracting two cubes, it's the same formula. All the letters go in the same spot. The only thing that changes is the signs. So whatever the sign is here goes with the first one. And then the second sign goes on the trinomial. And then the last one is always plus. So you can see how they're very similar. It's really easy to do both of these at the same time, right? So if I look right here, what is, this is a to the third power minus five to the third power. Okay, so I'm gonna write it under, but I know I'm gonna have a binomial. This is a minus, so it'll have a minus on the inside. And then I'm gonna have a trinomial. And this one's always plus, and this one is opposite of that one, right? So if you get those right, you're good. See, I got a minus, so then it's minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, okay? So then it's A and B. It's weird that A is actually A. I had to look at that again. And then it's, um, the first one is A squared, then a times b, so what is five times a is five a, and then b squared. Well, b squared is five times five, which is 25. So you still have to do some work when you're filling it in, but makes it not too hard, right? Okay, looking at this one, this is Again, in cube plus four cubed. And again, if you have this whole list, you, you could see that faster. Uh, but I know it's plus first, so my binomial is gonna have a plus in it. The first one is opposite, and then always plus. Okay, so in four, then you got the first one squared, then the first one times the second one, so four in, and then the last one squared. Four squared is 16. All right, so once you get these set up, it makes it a little easier. Um, <clears throat> get the calculator, calculate. So this one right here, this is where they mix it, but you got 216, that's six to the third power. So I put six C to the third power, plus five to the third power. This is probably the hardest one they have. All right, this one's not so hard. Um, I lied, that one's probably harder. I'll do them both, no big deal. So I have these done. Again, it's a plus. So the first one is a plus. I'll leave myself a little bit of extra space because of what they did here. I'll explain that. So this one has to be the opposite of that and then the plus. So I just have 6C here, 5 there, 
Now I got the first one squared. Here's the deal. I know c squared is c squared, but what is 6 squared? It's 36. So these numbers change in here. Now the first one times the second one, that's 5 times 6 is 30. And then the last one squared. Okay, I'll let you do this one, but I'm going to tell you what happened first. First of all, you have to divide out the 2. Right? If I divide out the 2, now I have a difference of cubes. Because 16, you can see, is not on my... You can see up here, it's not on the list. You go from 8 to 27. So 16 wouldn't work. And neither would 54. But if I divide out a 2, now I get 8x cubed minus... Uh, what is that? 27. Now these two are on the list. Right, so the two just goes in front. At the bottom, I'll have my two parentheses, parentheses. Right, so let's see if you can do that part right there. You'll have that. Okay, try to do that one. 